convinced me to start doing recordings on Disgaea. Now, my Disgaea 1, I don't know exactly what's wrong with it right now. It is just refusing to work. So, we're going to do Disgaea 2. His favorite. It is. It is by far my favorite. It's the... When <laughs> I first found out about Disgaea, back in 2007, I played... Something like that, yeah. Yeah, 2006, 2007, I played Disgaea 2. I, I missed Disgaea 1 altogether. But I started Disgaea 2. And I sat there and I did a good three, 4,000 hours in my first save. And with Disgaea, you, you gotta have the power or the timing to do it. You really do on one level. I mean, the story you can easily just knock out of the park 50 hours. If you're just wanting to knock it out of the park. But there's different classes you can choose to make. To you have so much more than just run in and beat the shit out of everything and go on your merry way. No, no, there's so much to it. When you're actually done with the base game, there's also the dark world. There's the item world. There's the classes. There is so much. And then there's the multiple endings. Also including all this. It gets really, really in-depth really, really fast. Um, I am going to be using um, a Rock Candy con uh, 360 controller with this. So if it looks like I have no fucking clue what I'm doing... It's because when they ported it from the PS2 to the PS4, they, or PS3, they did a good port. When they ported it from the PS2 to the PSP, they did a good port. Same for when they did it to the PS Vita. But that's because it was all still PlayStation. It was all still Sony. When they ported it to the freaking computer, their controller support died. So, yeah. If it looks like I have no fun clue what I'm doing, I do. I really do. I have thousands upon thousands of hours into this one alone. That's not counting when I actually broke down and bought the other games, sat down and played the hell out of them. Which I still need to sit down and I still need to actually play five. Which I believe you have on PS4? Yeah, I do. I have all. Oh, those are two. Yeah, I, I bought every copy except for D2. Because Which it too was not the same as the other guys. It was a f spin off. What the if I remember what for Disgaea D two. If I remember right, Disgaea D two was more of a visual novel with a timeline, and that doesn't appeal to me. I'm sorry, it just doesn't. I don't visual novels. Sorry, no, not me. You you want visual novels? Go go see Noble. Um, me, I prefer my strategy games. I really do. My RPGs, my strategies, my fighters. I actually enjoy being more than just sitting there watching something. If I want to watch something, I'll throw on a show. It somehow appears on We will put copyright... For my hero academia, but I'm pretty sure it is low enough it won't appear. <laughs> yeah. If we can hear your freaking deep show, then we're gonna have problems, mate. I hope not. Still, a fried dragon fairy oil sure a sword, clown shoes, and a worm bone. To summon Zenon. Summon Zenon, the greatest o dark overlord ever, apparently. Whatever. And this series is not. And I repeat, not tied to Overlord. It's not. Don't even think it is. This comes long before Overlord. Yeah, Overlord is based more on D&D. &D. This is just monsters and fantasy. And random freaking summoning. Yeah. Random summoning. To my three viewers, welcome. Um, I will, if you decide that you're just going to go ahead and just drop it in the chat room, 
I will be able to see it, thankfully. I finally got a second screen set up. Okay, my two viewers. I do have a screen set up so I can actually see the chat, and I'll be able to respond to you accordingly as it goes. I still say that the second one is much better than any of the others. Oh, yeah. Simply because a lot of what made the second one really good for your character creation and build, building is um the master-student arrangement, which they do go into detail later. But for the most part, what it is is that as you eliminate your enemies, you'll produce mana. Now, when you take enough of this mana, you can create another char uh, character. Come on. Come on, Pitfall. There we go. Um, when you produce the character, if they're right next to the, their mentor, the one that created them, they can use all the abilities of that character. So Adele, who is a, primarily a fist fighter, has no magic capabilities. You have him create a fire-based mage and have that mage sit right behind Adele. Adele can now use Fireball. And you get that up to level one, you no longer have that have that mage right next to him. Another part that I enjoyed was the reincarnation. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the joys of reincarnation. Oh, yes. Which, that same red mage... You, you, you worked your ass off, you max out that character's levels in all their skills, all their abilities, and you're going, okay, let's go ahead and reincarnate him. He goes back down to level one, but instead of reincarnating him as a mage, this time you decide to reincarnate him as a thief. And he gets all the thieves' abilities, on top of his, all his previous abilities. What was your favorite class? My favorite class? Adele. Adele. He... <laughs> Mine was the mages. The mages are nice, um, especially when you get to the gravity mage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, star and gravity, they were really some of the better ones. Um, <clears throat> the cleric really is your best friend early. When you get to a certain point, Adele just looks at things and they implode. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> With my mages, I stay in one spot, and I snipe across the map. Yep, you get a good enough staff. Yeah. Without the staff, their range capability is really crap. But you put a decent staff in their hands, and they just... They can hit the other side of the map with no issue whatsoever. It's just... Yeah. You see that level 100 asshole on the other side? No one can get to him. Fuck that guy. Boom. Gone. <laughs> Pay attention to this. This is important later. <laughs> what? Why the summon didn't work? They don't know that yet. They're still watching. But yes, of course, because it's a game, the summon didn't work. No, it totally worked. Well, it did work. It just... It, it spit out... The wrong person. Three different demons. No, no, that's the family that was sacrificed. Yeah, no. Partially. Here we go! Now, now, I, I, everyone is entitled to their own opinion about which female companion of all the games are is the best. They're all entitled to their opinion, but if they say anything other than Rosalind, they're wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, they're just wrong. Rosalind has the attitude, has the fucking strength. And her character development is beautiful. I'm going to have to adjust the uh, script. The um, I'm going to have to mess with the uh, resolution settings. 
because when it's doing some of these scenes on the higher resolutions, it is slowing down my uh, screen. So I'm gonna, I, I just have to reduce my resolutions, which isn't a big deal. I could also go ahead and just reduce the actual graphics quality, but I don't want to, because if I go less than this, it's just going to look the same. Which, you know, it could be, you know, one of the reasons I could do that, because it's going to be the same either way. Use less processing and graphics RAM to produce the same results at that point. Yes. Yes, her father. Okay, I gotta ask, how many years in between one and two at this point? Um, they don't actually give you a, de a definite timeline, but it they, they kind of try to hint that that's been about a thousand years. Like, by far, I Rosalind's entire of development from here to the end of the game is beautifully done. Yeah. But hey, that's that's me. That's that's far as I'm concerned. <laughs> There's no filter, by the way. He's honorable, but he has no filter. Hey, better than the third game. No, no, not at all. <laughs> Yes, that's that's all it is. Just a symbol. So yeah, go find yourself a four-leaf clover, and apparently your lord's in on child. Fuck it, whatever. Well, a four-leaf clover is a fucking four-leaf clover. That's what it is. God damn. One good thing about this entire series is every situation the main characters are in is freaking hilarious. Not all of them. Some of them are very serious. But they do... The second one really did have a perfect balance between the serious moments and the, oh my fucking god, this is goddamn hilarious. But I will never forget my favorite, my favorite fucking scene in the first one. And in the first one, um, I'll have to fucking find out why it's not working later. Just so I can fucking get to this scene and make a highlight of it, specifically. But, I don't remember exactly what chapter it is, but someone that dabbled in necromancy. Create a zombie. <laughs> I think I know which one you mean. And and I think the it's Demon Lord. Four. Yeah, I think that's right. And the Demon Lord, Laharl. That's the main character. It goes in and, you know, he's fucking talking about how fucking ambitious and great this person is and the person actually starts talking about their zombie with the brain of uh of the brain of some famous person um achilles strength and then the most dangerous weapon ever the horse wiener 
And at that moment, I had to I have to save the game, put it down, and spend an hour trying to catch my breath. Cause I I just couldn't deal it with it at the time. I was like 14 when I was playing that, in the middle of school, with some of my friends who were playing it at the same time in the same chapter. So we're all sitting here. And I just hear it on three different PlayStation portals. And it has a horse wiener. And it's just, okay. Okay, fuck it. Whatever. I, I, I'm I, done. I still remember us playing Kingdom Hearts uh, Birth by Sleep. And one of my teachers going, Okay, I know you love your board games, and your games but please pay attention. Rest in peace, you fine gentlemen. Oh god, the hostage situation. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> Mom Dears is a bitch, by the way. When isn't she? But then again, she's. Rosa is bound to you by her ritual! Let's be happy! Fuckers. And here we go. Okay, so do we want to start out by going through the character quests? Because there are character quests for some of them. Yes, but you have to actually get to a certain point for that. Now, some of those you have to get to a certain point. I mean, yes, I could do some of the uh, more... Um, for the... Uh, what are they called? Cameo ones? But those also require that I'd be level... 200? I get him at 10. Wow. I've been... I don't really know what the fuck to do there. I... I think it's because you're just going and beating the crap out of them and getting them on your team because of the camera. Well, there are some that you have to be a certain level for. Yeah. I don't remember which, though. And there we go. Save file. Time to save! Because saving in this game is always a must. Yeah. Save slot four. Settings, PC settings. Uh, turn that off, turn that off, turn that to the old way. Uh, resolution. I'm gonna turn that to 20 by 800. Okay, I want that to be full screen. So I'm not going to be able to actually... There we go. And that should work. No. Okay, so it's just not going to work right. So, we're kind of stuck with it pop lagging occasionally. And there, there's my oh-so favorite line right there in the... Center. You can't kill him. Can sacrifice him. The demon lord himself. Where is it? There is something I'm actually searching for here. Farming the farming chests. There we go. There are five of these little buttons in this town. Now, if you get all five of these buttons, you actually... The lag is real. I'm going to have to switch this back. 
Oh yeah, this is where we test stuff out, right? Yeah. Because it was a lot smoother. So, hopefully, this won't be a 20 minute video of me getting to this point and just having to start over. Oh, here's the other button. Here's button number two. We're about to see if it's going to smooth out a little bit. No. The lag is real. The lag got worse. Uh, do you think it's like No. Nope. I'm thinking it's because I was screwing with the settings too much. So, oh, boy. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this for now. Um, in about 10 minutes, I'm going to try and restart this in the hopes that I can get it working so there's no lag. So, I'll be back in about five minutes. Have fun until then.